Hi there, I'm Ethan Hull from PHDS Corporation. I'm here today to introduce you to our very latest germanium gamma ray detectors. Starting off, we have the Fulcrum, a seven pound high purity germanium detector system. It's obviously very portable, useful for gamma ray spectroscopy. I also have here the 15 pound GG, germanium gamma ray imager that is capable of gamma ray imaging, spectroscopy, and position sensitive quantitative assay. So an up close look at the fulcrum detector. As you can see, we bring the data out from the detector on this Android phone here. And I have some sources sitting in front of the fulcrum. If I just hit the play button, we should see the gamma ray spectrum beginning to accumulate and identify uh, and as you can see, we've identified the cesium-137 source here, uranium-235, and uranium-238 in this piece of depleted uranium. So identification, spectroscopy, in a seven-pound package. And now for an up-close view of the GG. So we've got the GG here. We've got a couple of sources here. And if I start the data acquisition, Push the start button, you can see a lot of things happening. We have already identified uranium-238 here, cesium-137, and uranium-235. Once the GG identifies these isotopes, it begins attempting to image them. You can see here the Compton image being formed, and you can see here the pixels, located, the locations of each gamma ray interaction. The energy spectrum is here. You see all the peaks as it's finding them. Labels the uh, special nuclear materials with red, things that come out of a reactor in yellow. Even if I look at the Compton image, I will see here that I've already located my cesium-137 source, which is right here. And it is trying to locate the uranium-238 and the uranium-235. It also does a quick field enrichment calculation. And here it does indeed uh, determine that this is a piece of depleted uranium, which it is. So after counting for two or three minutes, we have indeed located the uranium-238 and the uranium-235 components of this depleted uranium piece that we have here and the location of the cesium-137. And so now we will demonstrate the pinhole imaging capability of the GG. So to do pinhole imaging, we have this lead pinhole here, and all we do to align it is simply push it up right against the front of the GG until it stops. Then we come around here and push the start button and on the left side here, we see the cobalt 57. You see the 122 keV peak and even the 136 keV peak. And as it accumulates counts here, it then displays those on the optical output. And you can see the distribution of the cobalt 57 source there. So that is pinhole imaging by GP.